Okay, uh, coconut cream pudding with a mango sauce. If you guys have never tried this before, please check it out because this one's to die for, trust me. Um, okay, so what you'll need for this um, is a, a fairly large measuring jug, a smaller measuring jug. Um, you'll need, um, I've got mango puree, I've been able to get a, a 425 gram, 8 ounce can of uh, mango puree. Uh, which is um, rather good but if you don't have that you can get a, the same can, 8 ounce can uh, of, of um, mangoes in light syrup and then just literally just liquidize it so same same effect uh, you'll need a can opener to get that thing open there's also um, a can of coconut cream that's uh, 250 millilitres or one cup of coconut cream uh, if you can't get coconut cream, you can use a larger can, a uh, standard can of coconut milk, but don't get the light coconut milk, get the full fat coconut milk. Um, and then you need to adjust your gelatine or your setting agent accordingly. Okay, um, but this is this recipe is for this amount. Uh, and I know I go on about um, uh, uh, cooking by instinct, but in in bakery and this kind of thing you really need to know the quantities okay um, following on from that we have uh, in this case it's a 300 ml a carton of uh, British double cream which is the uh, equivalent of heavy cream in the United States so you want um, 300 ml that's one and one quarter cups of heavy cream and you're going to need some sugar about a couple of tablespoons of sugar uh, you need some serving uh, glasses, I'm using these because they're just about right for the size but um, you can use any serving glass um, that you like. Um, as for capacity, well you'll see anyway, uh, this recipe will probably fill them and a little more perhaps so um, don't worry about that. Next, uh, you've got choices, your setting agent, you can either use gelatine, I'm going to use gelatine because I'm not a vegetarian but um, I'm happy to use gelatine. Uh, on occasion, I'm also happy to use veggie gels. There's agar agar, and there's, uh, I think this one's um, a mixture of carrageen, which is Irish moss, locust bean gum. So, it's, it's, so it all does the same job, and it'll set it into a, a pudding. So you need something to set uh, 20 fluid ounces or one British pint. Um, or that I think that's the equivalent of where are we uh, two and a half cups of liquid okay um, and in metric that's 570 milliliters so you'll need enough um, e enough setting agent for 20 US fluid ounces two and a half cups 570 mils or one British pint. The British Imperial pint is actually 20 ounces. Okay, right. So, uh, here we go. First thing we're going to need, uh, in addition to that, you'll need um, about half a cup of, of hot water to dissolve. You follow the instructions for, you, for your setting agent. Uh, in this case, I'm using gelatin, uh, which is also convenient because I can melt my sugar in it. Okay, so uh, let's put this up one out of the way, I'm not using it, and we'll get back with some hot water for the kettle. So, um, always add the always add the hot water to your measuring jug first. The instructions on the packet say just over 100 mil. What's that? 115 mil. That's half a cup of of water, and then we get that in there. And we give it a stir. So that's very simple setting agent. You can use leaf gelatine if you wish. Um, um, and, and then again, just follow the instructions for that amount. So get that all dissolved up nicely. Bring that into shot for you. And while we're at it, I'm going to put in my sugar now. So it's going to be the sugar for 20 fluid ounces. Um, you know, you know what you like. Come on, just put in enough. If you like your coffee sweet, you're going to need maybe three of those. If you like it medium, you need two. And if you like it not very sweet, then that's kind of where you need to be. You need to only just use one and a half or, or two. Uh, I'm not over fond of 
cloyingly sweet desserts like this. I'm not, not, not overly fond of it at all. So um, what I'm doing is I'm melting that up. I'm going to let that sit for a minute just so it gives the gelatin a chance to melt up. And then we'll get all the other ingredients in the mixing bowl. So in goes the cream. Delicious cream. Double cream. Don't use single cream for this. Don't use light cream. It needs to be uh, heavy cream. Uh, you can also mix in a little bit of, um, uh, of sour cream or schmiertana if you like into that uh, or creme fraiche. Uh, you, you don't want to put all creme fraiche in and all, or, or, or uh, just mix it like half and half. That gives a nice tang to it as well, it's like nice sort of um, tang to it. And then the next thing I want in there is my coconut. So I'm going to just snip that open with a pair of scissors. Okay, in goes the coconut. You'll see now coconut cream is really thick, really lovely. So you'll see there if you if you are using coconut milk, you need to use about an eight ounce can of coconut milk. And you may need to use a little more of your setting agent uh, because you're making slightly more. Um, we can get that mixed in. I'm gonna get a whisk for that. Where's my whisk? Can't find a whisk, so I'm going to do it with a spoon. Right. I'm managing to get it everywhere with this. So in goes the cream. Don't whip it up too much because this this cream sets uh, pretty easily. And um, just to be safe, I'm going to strain in the gelatin mixture. Okay, see if I found the whisk. Let's get that sink out of the way because it's getting on my neck. And we whisk that in just to mix it thoroughly together. The next thing we do is give our gelatin a final stir. Give the gelatin a final stir. And we need to really allow that to cool now because what we've done is we've added water and we've added sugar and we've added gelatine so we need to let that cool a little bit before we introduce it to the cream otherwise that will start to curdle the only other way to do it is to add it uh, a little bit at a time only stirring so about a tablespoon at a time and stir it in that way you're not going to curdle your cream another bit uh, I'm pouring it through the uh, sieve or the net um, because I don't want any of those lumps to go in it. No need to get totally crazy about this, just go ahead, stir it in. Now you may think that's not sweet enough just using two tablespoons of sugar for that amount, but let's have a look. So what that has put together out of the way is looking on the side this is imperial by the way um, you've got what 220 40 60 260 sorry 20 <laughs> 26 ounces all together in there um, ignore the pint because that's just British it's um, it's about one one and two thirds of the pint no no sorry Forget that, it's one just out, over a pint and a, a quarter British. So that would be 25 ounces. So we've made about 25 US Imperial ounces, uh, sorry, United States ounces, fluid ounces. The fluid ounce in the United States, by the way, is exactly the same as the fluid ounce in, in Britain. It's just that our pint is 20 whereas yours is 16. Okay, right, so what I'm gonna do now is let that stir it slowly to try and get those bubbles to go in. We don't really want those in the finished dish. Right, let me get the kettle out of the way. 
and I'm going to pour this off now into the glasses. So uh, careful as you go here, you want to be getting this into the glass and you want to come up almost to the top. Just leave a nice margin at the top because we're going to top that with that delicious mango puree. It's a mango pulp. Um, it is available uh, in Britain. You, you, we can get it in, in the supermarkets over here. So I'm, I'm presuming you can get that in the United States. And on, on occasions where I can't get this, I just, I, I just whiz up a can of uh, uh, mango in light syrup. And it's exactly the same effect. So, now what we do with those is we put those away somewhere safe now uh, until this sets. It won't take too long because we're adding it to a cold liquid um, and it won't take long to set at all. Okay, so I'll come back to you in about, about half an hour, I think, should do it, and then we'll show you what to do next. Okay, just quickly while that, um, while, while the coconut cream is, is chilling away in the fridge, um, what I'm going to do is just going to, um, take a little slice of lime that that will take off some of the cloying sweetness of that and it gives it a, a little vibrant citrusy lift uh, what I'm going to do is just give it a rub that way uh, I don't know if you've seen my little video on these sort of things but um, if you just give lime citrus lemons those sort of things a little rub like that a bit of downward pressure it helps release some of the juice uh, I'm not going to use an awful lot of this, so I'm just going to take a little corner off it lengthwise like that and get that into there. Yeah. And give that a little stir with my Korean stainless steel chopstick. Lovely these, I ordered them online, get a whole pack of them for next to nothing. And they're great because they go in the dishwasher and they always look good. And uh, the only other thing I'll do at this stage is um, I just want to get some decor out of this. So I'm just going to chop that up like that. And just a couple of little decor things for the top just as a little tiny garnish. Uh, so that gives you some idea of what we, what we need. Okay, I'll get this out of the way. And I'll get back to you as soon as the coconut cream has set. Okay, back to the coconut cream pudding with mango sauce. Um, right, these have now nicely set, and if I give them a wobble, you'll see that. Just check that they're wobbling. They're nicely set, and there's a little trick for pouring sauces onto things like that. First of all, you just take a teaspoon, and you pour the sauce into the teaspoon. What that does is it allows the sauce to fall into the cup without the risk of it contaminating or going too deep inside the jelly um, the set cream pudding and it just sits on top there you go so there's another little tip for you boys and girls and the very last thing we would do with that just before serving is just drop a little bit of some some kind of garnish on it there you go and that's your coconut cream pudding with a mango sauce enjoy